hey guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> so today is an amazing video i'm so so happy to do this video i just have one hour to do this today is the 2nd of january i'm so sorry that my hair is like this but today is the 2nd of january you guys and i'm going to do my big chop now i'm so excited because I feel like after the big chop I would be able to see how my hair is growing each and every month but for now I don't feel like I, I can see how my hair is growing because I still have a lot of the relaxed part so I just want to cut them off and then I have to go in one and a half hour I have to be at my hair salon so I have exactly one hour to do this now I'm super excited and I hope you guys will keep on watching this video to see how I look I will have super short hair of course but uh, yeah let's get started you guys this is my hair you guys I had I used a shampoo yesterday but it was very bad you guys my hair feels super dry so what we're going to do we're going to part it in eight sections so we're just going to part it in two first you guys i'm very very bad with hair and i've been telling you guys this in a lot of videos i'm very very bad with hair so we're just going to part it in two that's the first thing that we're going to do and like this oh actually i need one side to be open okay so in this part we're going to part it in four sections my hair is very thick though. I love that. Okay, four sections. This is part one that I will start with to do the big chop. This is part two. And this one, we're going to section it out in two different parts. This is part three, and this is part oh, this is part three. This is part four. So we're we sec sectioned it out, which is good. This one, I will just. Make like a ball of it. Yeah, like this. So basically, one, two, three. We're going to start with this part first. I have two scissors. I do not have like the professional um, scissors for hair. Um, but let's just start. I'm very excited so basically I have this Den Denman brush I use it all the time my hair is super dry you guys I have literally no products wait let me put this in this part I have no products at all product at all in my hair at the moment I hope this video will not be too long but I have no product in my hair, <clears throat> nothing at all, so it's very dry. Okay, a girl told me in the comments not to brush too hard, <laughs> and she's right. So I have to, I actually need to section it out, maybe in two, and then just brush not too hard. I don't have patience for this, to be honest, but we will try. Because I, I, I want to be the one that is cutting my hair. I do not want people from the hair salon to do it. Because I feel at peace by cutting my hair. I always hair will come out. I feel at peace with cutting my hair now. So I feel like someone who will cut your hair needs to do it with love. So I know I will do it with love. So... 
yeah so i have a bottle of water here and we're just going to open it up we're going to put it in a spray bottle i don't think i need all of it maybe half of it and i'm using bottled water because i have when i'm taking a shower i have like the filter um, because the water here it's just better to use a filter so that's why i have this okay it's closed so okay let's start how are we going to start this okay we're just going to part each section in four so i'm going to just play it for us to be able to see wait do you have a hair clip can you really see i am not a professional you guys i just hope i will manage this in 50 minutes but yeah we are just going especially the, look look at this you guys look at my hair texture and look at the relaxed part this is not normal this is not normal so we're going to start maybe i should wet it a bit more but i don't want to wet the inside because i have to braid my hair i'm going to braid my okay yeah this is this is good this is good you guys <laughs> Oh, I also got a bit of my my hair. Fuck. It's okay. It will grow. Let's just put it here. Let me just do little parts like this. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, here. Gone. Oh. I didn't even tell <laughs> it's so short you guys it's so short okay 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 i'm actually excited i'm so excited and then <clears throat> from now on i will be able to show you guys like every two months for example how how long it grew grow is it grow or grew i don't know but you guys know what i mean i think so I'm not going to wet this part. I think I already said that because I have to go and braid my hair. And um, I don't want them to, yeah. So, okay. We are here, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. I just can hide it. Yes. <clears throat> you guys it's the beginning of the year oh i caught a bit too much but it's okay and this year i don't know i feel like this is going to be an amazing year i hope you guys have the same feeling i hope you, all your wishes will come true this year and i mean that from the bottom of my heart and i hope you guys the people who are also on a hair journey please just comment below your tips and your tricks or something a family member or friend told you uh, we can all use you know some good tips and tricks especially people who do not know how to do hair like me but uh, yeah let's just help each other out I'm so excited you guys i i'm trying to focus i want to have a conversation with you guys but i think i just have to be a bit focused i think yeah that's a bit necessary okay this part is done we're going in for the second part i wish i would be able to you know wet all my hair for you guys to see like uh, yesterday i only um i had braids in because because i wash my hair when i have braids in it's the easiest thing you guys 
that's the biggest tip that I can give you guys. For me, washing my hair like this, it is such a struggle and my arms will start hurting. It is just a lot of labor. So to make your life easier, when your hair is braided like this, just wash it. Wash it and use this to go in between the braids. That's it, you guys. So now, you know, when my hair is dry, it's, you know, much easier to manage, to be honest. For me, personally. I, I want to say again, for me. Because everybody's hair texture is very different. I remember I went to a hair salon and the lady told me I have 4B hair. But truly, I feel like I have like a mixture of 4B and 4C hair. Because when it's wet, my next video I will show you guys. It is very, very curly. Like as soon as I... Um, you know, wash my hair, condition my hair, super curly, super curly. But when it dries, there are parts that are, you can definitely see it's 4B, but there are also a bit of te texture of 4C hair. So I think it's a mixture. But I will show you guys, of course, I don't want to have like a huge discussion about my hair, but I will just show you guys, but that's what I personally think. But I went to a professional hair, um, dresser or hair salon where the lady really told me that I have 4B hair so for now I'll keep it like that but I think it's like a mixture to be honest so oh my god you guys I'm so happy I'm so happy now I can finally start my real hair journey with you guys I can really start it I'm very very happy okay now we're going to part three it's going pretty fast to be honest I thought it would take more time we're going to part it in two maybe yeah Maybe. You guys, this is really sad. Really, really sad. You guys, this is really sad. That's why I had like nothing on my head. Look at this. Stop it. actually embarrassing if, if I'm being really honest so embarrassing okay this part is there's still a few you know like leftovers of the relaxed part but that I can cut after parts of course oops here This is not normal. Look at my natural hair texture and look at with what I was walking on my head. I was wearing weaves. I was wearing wigs. I was wearing, you know, those clip-ins um, pieces because I had literally no hair. And now when you're seeing literally how the difference, it's actually shocking. It's shocking and it's embarrassing, you guys. So I think by next year my hair will grow. My hair is growing pretty fast if I'm being very honest. So I think by the end of this year, because now it's the 2nd of January, I'm going to make another video like this on the 2nd of January 2025. And you guys are going to see that my hair will grow like 
maybe double or maybe even three times uh, the amount of this. This is just growth from how many months? This is just a few months of growth, you guys. And it's... I will... Wow. This is just a few months of growth. Oh my god. Embarrassing. Like, relax. <laughs> the only thing I can do is laugh. Because if you're not laughing, you will cry. But I'm happy. I'm, I'm very happy, you guys. Okay. And the fact that it can go in a bun. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This piece right here. I'm going to show you guys a picture of when I just moved here to the Middle East because I came with my natural hair but I had wigs on but it was just way too hot it was not manageable at the time because I was outside all day, every day, but now, you know, I've been living here for a few years, so now I don't, I'm um, not like a hyena that wants to go out all the time, so, you know, at home I can take it off, and only when I really need to go out, I will have to wake outside, so, it's different now. So, okay. As you can see, we're going to cut it all out. <laughs> that was fast. Okay. There go with my hair with. I'm just going to tell you guys the, the reason. Because I don't feel like, I feel like there are hair, people from the hair salon that are very gentle with your hair. And there are people that are very harsh with your hair. And I feel like with wet hair, she was just brushing through my hair without proper sectioning my hair and stuff like that. So I always go with dry hair. I always section it in parts. So the only thing that she has to do is literally remove, you know, this hair band and then start blow drying it. Because she always blow dries my hair before braiding it. So that's the only thing that she, she needs to do. I don't want her to. She's an amazing braider. <laughs> But, you know, dealing with wet hair, I don't feel comfortable. So that's why I am doing the big chop like this. But otherwise, I would have just, you know, washed my hair properly. I washed it yesterday. But otherwise, I would have washed it, you know, washed it and then show you guys um, the difference of the relaxed part and my natural hair. So now this is basically giving me this will take more time but i prefer doing this uh, yeah the first part is done <laughs> the first the sorry the yeah the first part is basically done and this is my natural hair no product nothing inside of it it is short but um, when I'm at the hair salon and she's finishing with the blow dry I will show you guys how long it is because now of course it's a bit damp so it will shrink and then we will be able to see the difference from now and for example six months from now and I will show you guys again when I'm at the hair salon when she blow dried my hair so basically I for me it's so shocking that I can put it in like a bun come on my natural hair no relaxed part look at this you guys come on stop it okay next part 
I just put a little bit of quench you guys I just put a tiny bit of this quench from on Jackie in my hair and this is the last part the last part <laughs> the last piece done this is my hair now no product at all you guys no product at all super dry this is all the hair you guys the dead relaxed hair that I was holding on to for dear life it's nothing as you can see, I also cut a bit of the hair, my natural hair texture hair, but it's okay. Um, wow, wow. I'm very excited for this journey, guys. So much for watching. I am so happy for this, this journey. I am so happy for um, the hairstyles that I will be able to do when my hair is a little bit longer because now I have no idea what to do with it. Other than braiding it so I'm so excited as soon as I'm in the hair salon I'm going to show you guys uh, I'm going to just film it with my um, telephone camera for you to be able to see how long it is um, while blow, blow drying because now I feel like it is a bit damp it's dry like from the inside it's dry, it's dry here also but because I use the spray bottle a few places are a little bit damp so yeah okay guys thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate appreciate you guys hey guys i'm back i just came back from the hair salon um, I just put uh, like a very small video for you guys to see that I was at the hair salon doing my hair. I literally just want to rant for a few minutes because I have an appointment to do my nails right after this. I have to be there in 20 minutes. So I have 10 more minutes that I can rant. I am, you know, it's the beginning of the year. I do not want to be angry. I do not want to stress myself out. But I really, really want to talk about this because I feel like it's always with black owned businesses that things are going like this i'm so sorry i love i will oh i always want to support black businesses but the way we are you know the way we are handling business is just not okay i know it's not okay you guys i'm actually so pissed right now but i'm literally trying to calm myself down because it's not normal it's not normal so i go to the hairdresser i go every single month um let's say i go every five weeks not every month every five weeks to do my braids i'll just show you guys my braids you guys i'm not very good with wigs i told you guys this is a synthetic wig by the way and look at this i didn't even cut the lace but basically let me just remove it oh my god so basically this is how she is braiding my hair my, my head shape is very funny, I know. But this is how she is braiding my hair. Very nice, very neat. Okay, cool. Let me just put this back. <laughs> Such a difference, you guys. But yeah. So basically what I just showed you guys, that's how she's braiding my hair every five weeks. I've, I've been going there for, I went there before. I was going there for one and a half year and then I stopped. 
and um, because I relaxed my hair so there was no need to go there anymore and now I've been going there for the past five months again and I've been paying 37 euros and 50 cents cool it is what it is 37 euro and 50 cents I've been paying for five months back to back the girl is doing my hair I'm finished I, I gave her a tip I go to the um, counter to pay my uh, my bill and then you know she is just typing the things usually I don't even check but I checked she was typing it and I saw 50 euros I'm like I told her 50 euros She's like, yeah, it's 50 euros. I was like, no, I always pay 37.50 and I never paid uh, 50 euro for this. So she's telling me like, no, um, because you have a lot of braids, um, small braids, it's 200, it's, it has always been 200. I told her, no, I've been coming here for the past few months. I've been paying the exact same price, which is 37 euros and 50 cents. She's, she's going in like a discussion with me then i told her no i'm not going to pay the 50 euro so she was like oh i'm going to um, talk with my my boss she went she came back in like five minutes uh she told me for this time you can pay um 37.50 i told her no it's not about this time i always pay 37 euro and 50 cents i've never paid 50 euro then she told me like yeah for next time um it will be 50 euros and not 37.50 anymore so I just, I literally just wanted to tell her, okay, then I will not come back anymore. I literally wanted to tell that, but you guys, I live here in the Middle East and there are not a lot of salons. And I feel like they really take advantage of that because I, to be honest, I have no idea what I'm going to do if I cannot do my hair here. So next month I'm going on vacation. I'm going to my island and my family members I have hairdressers in my family members so I will do my hair there next month. Hopefully the month after that in March I will be able to go home and do my hair. Even my mom can braid my hair so you know and in back home it's like 25 to 30 euros. Here I'm paying 37.50 which is okay but I'm not going to pay 50 euro. And the fact that she just told me so casually like you know um, yeah next time where you're coming it's 50 euros it's not normal and the fact that you're just typing the 50 euros and she, she is the one the things that is blowing my mind she is the one every five weeks she is the one who's typing the 100 and she is the one who's typing the 3750 every single five weeks on the machine and now you just want to scam me you know you, i feel literally i feel scammed even though she she almost scammed me but I do not want to go there anymore and the fact that this girl is braiding my hair so nicely so so nicely but I don't want to go there anymore and the fact that you know I would be because I am a loyal customer when I tell you guys I am a loyal customer I am a loyal customer I would never leave there but the fact that so casually you're just telling me from now on it's 50 euros so it's going from 37.50 to 50 euro I have the money to pay it of course I have the money to pay it easily but it's about the principle and it's about how you're going to tell me like for example if the price will be more just inform me like you know next time we increase the price we increase the price from um, next time you're coming it will be 50 euros it's not 37 euro and 50 cents anymore there's a way of speaking not of not the way how she handled it i don't like that at all customer service needs to change you guys will lose loyal customer and it's not about the price it's about the principle it's about the way you speak to me it's about the way you just typed 50 euro without informing me meanwhile you're the one who's taking me my um, payment for the last five fucking months the exact same payment you're seeing me every five weeks so you know exactly where i'm coming from coming for i just came into this in the salon and she literally tells me oh it's the same right i'm like yeah it's the same she's like the, the small braids for under the wig right i'm like yeah so you know it like the way i'm so frustrated you guys i'm so frustrated i'm so annoyed and black owned business i'm so sorry i only 
go to shit like this with black owned business we have to do better we have to be better so i'm so sorry i just had to rant i don't know what to do next month i know what to do i'm going to my island my cousin will do my hair but the months after that i do not want to go back i do not want to go back i do not want to go back and she really talked with an attitude i don't like that i don't accept that in this year i will not accept the bullshit the thing is that i really wanted to say that i will not come back anymore but the thing is i need them and that's why they are taking advantage of us here because they are the only salon who can do proper hair i'm fucked you guys i feel fucked so i have to figure it out this is literally an issue that i did not want to have this year like i this is the 2nd of january you guys just the 2nd of january and yesterday you know i was writing stuff in my journal it's the first day yesterday that i had no issues at all everything went smoothly everything went you know nicely a very nice day today i have to write this in my journal I'm going to write everything i'm so frustrated i'm frustrated you guys i'm frustrated but yeah i had to say that sorry for this rant but i just needed to you know get it out i feel much better i'm so sorry for you know dumping all of this on you guys but i really i hope we can do better as black owned businesses i hope we can do better there are many issues that i had with this um you know this is the third time like you know what the first time um i came there um they they made me wait one hour <clears throat> meanwhile i had not an appointment after after um going to the hair salon because usually i do everything in one day i was pissed second time i went again they made me wait for two and a half hours, you guys. And every 10 minutes they will come. Oh, she's almost finished. She will come. She's almost finished. She will come. No worries. She's almost finished. Then after, you know, every 10 to 15 minutes, I'm telling her I have to I have appointments after this. I really need to do my hair. And the thing is, I go there with my hair loose. I cannot leave. I'm literally stuck there. I have to do my hair. Otherwise, I cannot put my wig on. The third time so you know three times is enough you're giving chances chance after chance after chance after chance but at you know there will be a point where you're just done last time then the thing that was the most fucked up thing about it all they made me with lady who was doing my hair she came after she finished with the girl and she was like oh you're here i'm like yeah i had an appointment with you at seven o'clock it was nine o'clock you guys at seven o'clock i arrived 10 minutes earlier so she finished like 9.15 or something like that. She was like, oh, I had no idea you were here. I was like, yeah, I told them many times. I asked them many times, like um, when I will be able to start with my hair. But they kept telling me 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Oh, she's almost done. Just 20 more minutes. And I had no idea where she was. So they basically lied to me. The girl had no idea that, I, that she had an appointment with me. And then after... She started doing my hair at 9.15, you guys. I had to cancel my other plans after that. And um, the salon closes at 10. So I stay there e until 11 o'clock, you guys. Until 11 o'clock. The thing is, I really want to support black businesses so bad. So bad. From the bottom of my heart. If you have an appointment with someone, just block two hours for that person. After two hours, make another appointment for another person. But do not do not let me come there and you're busy with someone else and I have to sit there and wait for one hour. That one hour, I could have been at home. I could have made some food. I could do something else. You know, you guys, I'm so sorry for this rant. It's the beginning of the year. This will be my first and final rant. I do not have time to stress about hair. That's, you know, we're not going to do that. But I rant. I released all the stress. I'm going to do my nails now, you guys. I always plan everything on one day. I'm going to do my manicure and my pedicure. So I'm very 
I'm not excited actually to do that. I'm very tired of doing this. But you know, doing high maintenance stuff to be low maintenance. So I do my nails every month. So you guys, I think I have literally five more minutes left. I have to run. Thank God this, the nail place is literally in my street. So I will be arrived there in five minutes, which is good. But I'm going. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so sorry for this energy. I'm so, so sorry. But I just really wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys have like thing, been to, through things like this, please let me know. Then I know I'm not alone. But it's not normal. It's not okay. It's just a big no-no. But yeah, good things this year. Only good things this year. Positive positivity this year um, going to learn how to you know secure the wig and stuff because this is not normal what I'm doing I have many many hats this is how I always walk with my wigs and this is by the way a synthetic wig you guys I had another one I tried to glue it and film it it was horrible so I did not even edit it I will not post this this one I tried it just here just to see how it will go horrible horrible so wig reviews are just not my thing except especially synthetic wigs it's just not my thing so i will invest in you know a good wig where you just need to cut the lace off and i will just review it for you guys but synthetic wig i have two more wigs i bought four synthetic wigs you guys and i do not even know how to install it i'm going to try again with this one i'm going to film it if it's good i will post it if it's not good i will not post it i will not you know we're not going to embarrass ourselves on the internet uh, i know i cannot do it but we're going to try this year is all about trying and doing stuff and getting stuff done so you guys thank you so much again for watching this video 